Welcome back. First came allegations that sponsors were being nominated for honours. Now Channel 4 News has learned that the City Academies programme is to be investigated over concerns that taxpayers' money is being wasted. The National Audit Office inquiry comes as one of the biggest financial backers cast doubt on government targets of 200 academies by the year 2010. Our political correspondent Cathy Newman reports. A lesson in photosynthesis at a South London school. No one would challenge the basic science that plants survive by converting light into energy. But far more uncertain is the outcome of the political experiment these pupils are themselves part of. Their city technology college is being converted into an academy, a new type of school backed by private sponsors and free from local authority control. Lord Harris of Peckham is one of the country's 200 richest people. He made his money selling carpets but will soon set himself up as a mini education authority. He's spending nearly 10 million pounds of his fortune creating seven city academies, including this school in Crystal Palace. In a rare television interview, he told Channel 4 News how big business can provide a public service. I have to concentrate on my own shops, uh, uh, my own, sorry, mm. my, own, my own schools, working, of course, with the, chief, with the chief executive, working with the head teachers, working with the parents, working with the children, knowing what they want. So it's not, not about that. It's, it's about uh, the enthusiasm of the team to make sure those kids enjoy their life at school and they leave as better, better pupils. There are only 27 city academies open, but there are already lessons to be learned. Channel 4 News understands that Parliament's spending watchdog has started an investigation into the new school's finances. Our study is examining the cost effectiveness of the 27 academies by evaluating performance, setup costs and the quality of buildings. My schools, we hope, that we give good value. We, uh, we have one of the Harris family on all the boards uh, looking after the building cost because I don't want to waste public money. It's not my money, it's the public's money. The government wants 200 academies by 2010 at a cost of £5 billion. Each academy costs £25 million, of which £2 million is paid by the sponsor. Typical state schools cost £17 million, £8 million less. Lord Harris hopes his South Norwood Academy will be a model venture, but the £25 million will be spent only on bricks and mortar. Critics fear the cash would be better targeted at teaching and textbooks. I'm not actually convinced that what makes a successful school is a state-of-the-art building. I think you need a very good head, you need fantastic teachers and you need an interesting curriculum. And I would like to see the government spending more time working on those aspects of schools rather than devising projects which effectively focus on who owns and governs them. Tony Blair started his City Academies experiment three years after taking office, but will the Prime Minister's end-of-term report award him an A-grade for innovation or a black mark for an expensive policy that may yet blow up in the government's face? Lord Levy is president of the Specialist Schools and Academies Trust, the body responsible for overseeing the government's flagship schools. Whether he promised peerages to City Academy sponsors is at the heart of the current police investigation. Lord Harris got his peerage in 1996, long before City Academies opened their doors. Despite his enthusiasm for a new Labour project, he thinks the government will struggle to deliver 200 academies by 2010. I think it'll be very difficult. Why? We've got to find 200 sponsors, and you've got to find the right sponsors that care about the children. I think if they went for 50 and 100, I think that would be more realistic in the next three to five years. Like Tony Blair, these sixth form pupils are preparing to move on. Whether his successor allows his education policy to wither on the vine depends on the outcome of the next election. Lord Harris is confident City Academies have a bright future under David Cameron, if not Gordon Brown. But whoever becomes the country's head boy will have to do some serious homework to make the sums add up.